Nick Allo, KC Thunder, uh, Mark, the, the difference, at least statistically, seemed to be at the three-point line tonight. What did you think about the, the looks that you guys got from three and the ones uh, that they got? Um, we'll look at the looks. I mean, I thought, you know, credit them. They shot the ball really well, especially coming out of the gates. Uh, but we were able to stabilize the game. You know, we weathered a pretty good storm there in the first half, got it in striking distance, took a lead in the third. Um, so we gave ourselves a chance, you know, even after the hot shooting. Uh, and I just didn't think we executed well enough either end uh, to really grab a grip on the game. Credit them. They came in and played really well. The reason the Mavs got um, a lot of attention paid to uh, Kyrie and, and Luca. Are you OK with the, the looks they got, or do you feel like you guys could have got out to them a little bit more? It's a lot of threes. I mean, OK with some of them. You know, some of it's just like game plan uh, cost. You know, you have to you have to give something up. And then some of them I thought were just like looseness. I thought um, we didn't do a great job of getting set tonight. And a lot of them came, you know, on a loose floor or in transition. They obviously rebounded the ball well, you know, like we did last game. Um, so it's a mishmash of things. There's some that we just have to tip our hat. There's others that are controllable uh, that we have to correct, obviously. And then what did you uh, think about you guys' pace tonight? Our, I'm sorry? Pace. Um, I thought at times good. You know, we were taking the ball out of the net more tonight than we have uh, in a while, uh, which slows you down. But I thought, you know, we tried to go at times. Um, our decision-making wasn't as sharp as it's been. You know, I didn't think we had uh, great attacks tonight offensively. I just didn't think we were as sharp on either end of the floor as we've been in a long time. So got to learn from it, figure out, you know, how we can improve and be a better team in game three. You, you gave like a back cut dunk with like 2.9 on the shot clock and, you know, a couple walk in threes. I can remember what are what are maybe the, the specific possessions that, you know, you, you think back on like those are the errors that you usually don't make. Yeah, I mean, there were a good amount of them tonight, you know, credit them. I mean, it's a it's a heavyweight fight and we threw a punch the other night. They threw a punch tonight. Part of fighting, you know, is throwing them, and part of fighting is taking them. We took one tonight, but um, so not to take anything away from them. But I just thought, from an execution standpoint, uh, there was just too much unearned. You know, the one you mentioned certainly, but it was a lot of plays uh, on both ends. You know, I thought there were some offensive plays where they get runouts. You know, just on lack of uh, execution or a decision we made. So something we can learn from. I mean, we've been a team that's grown through everything. Uh, we've grown through a lot of success this year. We have to grow through, you know, like I said, taking a punch tonight. You, you went with Wiggins over Giddy in the second half. What went into that decision and what hasn't worked, would you say, in, the, in Giddy's minutes? Say it one more time. What hasn't worked in, in, kind of in the Giddy lineup so far? Um, I wouldn't say it, like, didn't work. I would just say, you know, it's a halftime subs is something we've done for a long time. It's a, basically an in-game substitution. So I don't view it as any different than checking somebody into the game with eight minutes to go in the third quarter or something. So... Uh, we're going to keep it fluid. I, you know, we went big right away early tonight. I thought that looked pretty good. Uh, we're going to be a moving target there. Do what we think is best every night. Every game's different. We're going to keep doing it. Luke is obviously going to get points. He's that kind of score. But what did you maybe need to do better against him tonight? Um, had seven assists to, uh, I think, double-digit rebounds. Are those the type of things you have to hit? and live with the points or what did you feel like your defense did with him tonight? again every possession is different you know I thought to start the game there was kind of like a correction on you know his part not that he corrected it but I mean last game he didn't shoot the ball very well um, there were some looks that he got last game that he's probably used to making he made more of them early in the game tonight um, I didn't think you know it was necessarily you know what we gave to him I thought it was some of the rotations out of it some of the help wasn't quite as early uh, as it was last game, it was more of those things um, where they got the easy stuff. But, I mean, he's going to earn it. Irving's going to earn it. Those guys are great players. Mark, uh, just to, to start the fourth quarter, I mean, Shea was in for, like, all of maybe 35 seconds. You put Dort and, and, and Kaysen in together, which I don't know how many times you've done that to start the fourth this season. Just what went into that decision just to start the quarter? Uh, the Shea one is just we had possession, you know, just trying to utilize him for one offensive possession there uh, with a deficit uh, and then sub him right out. Um, Kaysen and Dort, you know, they played Doncic. They got him a, a blow in the third. So um, Dort had fouls. We got Dort off with him and wanted to make sure that for the rest of the game we matched his minutes. Kaysen, I thought, was playing pretty well at that point. And you guys have responded in situations like that in fourth quarters all season. Um, you've, you've seemingly always had that that next gear just what did you see in the fourth that maybe limited that that final gear 
I mean, we've got a really good opponent that played really well tonight. So, you know, we tried to scrap back into it. I thought our effort was really good tonight. I thought we tried to gear it up a couple different times. I thought uh, we left something to be desired was execution. And um, that's part of these things. I mean, these are um, emotional games. It's hard to sustain that for the period of time that we have leading into this game. Now we just got to get, you know, the car back on the road and, and be a little bit better on both ends. Mark, after a sweep in round one, are you curious to see how – you guys respond to maybe the first taste of adversity in the playoffs? Yeah, curious but confident. You know, I, I'm not sitting here wondering. You know, this is a team that's made a habit of, um, you know, getting back up. We, we keep a pretty steady temperament through the ups and downs of the season. Um, and this is just part of the deal. I mean, this is the playoffs, playing against really good teams. These are deep waters. And so, like I said, you're going to throw some punches. You're going to take some punches. And now we got to eat one, you know, get back to zero tomorrow and be a better team in game three. Execution, you mean like, can you just clarify on that missing shots or, or just, just really just clarify what you mean by that? Definitely not missing shots. You know, it's more, you know, what's generating the shots, how quality the shots are. Is there something that we could have uh, done better from a process standpoint? And then same thing defensively. You know, like if, you know, they make a tough play, um, you tip your hat to them. But uh, you just got to bet over the course of a 100 possession game that um, if you do it, well on both ends of the floor it'll yield a win um i didn't think we played like that tonight and to credit them they did they played really well that was part of it too mark just to the points that joe made in his question like because you guys haven't lost in you know over a month like what does that look like preparing these guys for the emotional gaps now but between these days um you know, we've lost a game before. You know, this isn't un uncharted waters. You know, we just haven't lost lately with long layoffs and the sweep in the first round. So um, we, you know, the team pulls together. thing I respect about our guys is they pull together in adversity and we've pulled together in success, which is hard to do too. So um, everything we do, we do as a team. We'll learn from this one as a team and we'll walk out there as a team on, on Saturday. Mark, you mentioned Luca and some of the shots he missed in game one he happened to make in this game. How do you sort of parse between like the law of averages bouncing back versus sort of shot attempts you guys want to limit that you didn't weren't able to tonight? Yeah, that's the challenge. You know, um, I thought there was a law of averages thing tonight with him. You know, he he made some shots early, especially. Um, and then, I, you know, we went and got him a little bit tonight, and the execution out of those plays wasn't great. You know, we mixed our looks again. I think that's important against him is not to give him a steady diet of anything. Same with Irving. Those guys have seen everything, so they'll calibrate pretty quickly. But um, we just got to, you know, tighten the screws on the execution a little bit on that end. You, you mentioned the double big lineups. You didn't go to that much this season. What's kind of motivated you to use it like you have, and what's working? Um, I thought in both games it's given us like a nice rim presence. Um, it's given us a nice rebounding presence. And I think with the way that they defend us, it doesn't really alter us much offensively. We're able to stay in character. Obviously, Jay Will shot it well early tonight. I think um, that makes them think twice about some coverages. And so uh, it's just another option. And like I said, early in a series, you know, every possession feels like um, – it has a lot of gravity to it, but uh, early in a series, you want to create optionality. You want to figure out what you have. You want to figure out what the best thing is, um, and we try to do that here through two games. Dort was in foul trouble for good chunks of this game. What are your thoughts on just how he's being officiated specifically? They're not all uh, defensive fouls. You know, there's a couple, like, loose ball fouls. Last game, he had an offensive foul, so it's not all just, like, how he's guarding uh, Doncic, but, I mean, with the physicality of him, the physicality of Doncic, um, he's going to pick some up, you know, we'll balance, uh, you know, when to use him and when to roll the dice and when to get him out. You know, I think Kaysen's done a nice job spotting those minutes in both of the games. So we have confidence in him and the other guys. So, um, I think he's been officiating. I thought the officiating crew tonight again was, was pretty steady. Anyone else? Thank you. Coach. All right. Thank you. Yep.